Well, my last video about the FDP complaining about the seating arrangements in the Bundestag generated quite a lot of comments, which is a good thing. But it turns out that a lot of them are pointing out some mistakes I made. This is what happens when you realise that it's been nearly a week since your last video and you really need to get one made, and then you read an article and you think, oh, this is excellent, the jokes practically write themselves. And then you don't read the article properly and you don't do as much research as you should because you really need to make the video this week, especially as it's about current affairs, and you've also got a lot of real work to be getting along with. Plus, you're trying to fit video making around basically just having a life. And this, by the way, is why I'm still trying to find ways of raising money so that I can work on YouTube full time. But just finding ways of raising money is a lot of work. Uh, and at this point, once again, thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon. I can't guarantee to get everything right all of the time, but I like to think that I usually get things right enough. So it's quite disappointing when I get something this wrong. I'm particularly disappointed because parts of the video are actually really good. I'm especially proud of my description of the British Parliament as a... Well, you'll have to watch the video to find out. I will say that the point I made in that video still stands. The FDP are behaving like children. In fact, if anything, my point stands even more. The big mistake was when I said that traditionally the FDP used to sit to the left of the Union. That's something that I didn't look up and I really should have done because it's quite simply not true. In fact, the FDP has always sat to the right of the Union, every time. I suppose the reason I just assumed the FDP had always sat in the middle was that they were making a huge song and dance about it being of such great symbolic value. I'm a great believer in two sides to every story, so I just instinctively thought that their complaint had at least some merit to it. I mean, I could sort of understand why the party might be surprised and upset at not being able to sit in their traditional place. But no, they are going to be sitting in their traditional place. It's only an issue for them now that it means sitting next to the AFD. There is another thing that needs to be set right. I said that I couldn't think of any case where a party got the wrong number of seats thanks to the system used for allocating them. In fact, there have been quite a few. What is likely true is that there hasn't been a vote in the Bundestag that would have had a different result had the seats been allocated more in line with the party list vote. But there have been some cases of negative vote weight at play. Ironically, one of the clearest examples came in 2002, some years after the problem was supposedly fixed. As I said in the video, the solution the government came up with was only a partial fix. In that election, the SPD lost a party list mandate in Bremen because they got 50,000 party list votes too many in Brandenburg. And just that sentence alone hints at the complexity of the current system. So there you are. This is what happens when you do things in a rush. Maybe I should just give up trying to have a life. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.